Harry with a new guest commentator. Uh, his name is Matthias, and uh, we're doing a game of Seppo versus Blast. And uh, Lakaius, I don't really know much about you uh, since you're a very new member to the DC community. But you know, as soon as I heard that sexy voice of yours, I just, I just had to do a commentary and show it to the rest of the world. Uh, and why don't you talk a little bit about it yourself and your uh, your unique voice that you have? Hi. Um, well, my name is Lakaius, as Bob said. Um, I kind of just joined the uh, Team Speak one day and. Uh, just started uh, talking with some of the guys and Hobbs told me I had a unique voice so we decided to do a commentary together um... Like where you I from? couldn't really tell you the origin of the voice I guess it's <laughs> kind of a blessing really a blessing and a curse oh yeah everything everything's a double-edged sword but anyways uh, wh where are you from? I heard you speak you, you spoke a little bit of French through trade so you're are from uh, I'm from Canada. I'm from Winnipeg, uh, Manitoba. It's oh, okay. Way out in like nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, are you a French Canadian as well? Yeah, I basically only speak French just, just to get on their skin. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, like when I when I, mean, I think he trolls of, everybody. So yeah, when I when I hear F Trey speak, and when I hear you speak, you sound like the complete opposite of him. Like if I can't think of you know, if I can imagine like the devil and the the angel like you know on my on my shoulders, like yeah. Trey's. Well, what it is is like, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> Trey's. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, <laughs> Trey's is, is like a first is like a his first language is French, and he learned English afterwards. Oh, I see. So, uh, well, at least that's what I the understanding that I got. Okay. And um, so he, he has uh, like a French accent when he's speaking English. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard like Stephen Harper talk. Uh, I don't but Trey gives me shit all the time. Stephen Harper's our prime minister, kind of like you had oh, okay. Barack Obama kind of thing. Well, uh, Trey gives me shit about talking like him, saying how I sound like him. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so kids, remember when you're growing up, learn English first. Don't learn French. So that's yeah, a good. And that's don't a good troll. Tip. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna sound like, you know, the devil himself. But anyways. Trace. All right. So okay. We oh man, we're missing all the picks already. So. It's pretty standard bands, ban uh, right. Broodmother, Pugna, Venge, uh, well, Venge is usually not banned, but Pick First instead, and then Alchemist, Morphling, oh, uh, Bad Ride, oh, this is 6.69C before I, I get started, so it's not, uh, no, no new heroes, you know, this is kind of an old game, but, uh, speaking of French Canadians, or just French, uh, French in general, Blast is a team from France, uh, we don't really know much about them other than that Lumini did a commentary uh, of DTS versus Blast with uh, with the Invoker. Yeah, they had a really good yeah. Invoker. I have to say that from what I remember. If I'm thinking of the right game, I hope I am. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Yeah, no, no. You, you were describing it right with the one with the Juggernaut spinning and a co snap and the guys yeah, are stuck. Yeah, sweet game. Yeah. Uh, and Seppo, whom I don't really know, and I don't think anyone else does, except that some of the comment comments in the Ghost of Gamer replay link uh, suggested that they did the 5 Dagon strat which might be the same game that Lumi commentated a long long time ago I think I think I was actually the dual commentator for that game but I might be mistaken I think they were under a different tag though yeah yeah probably I can't, and remember, the, the, you, I can't remember off the top of my head if you look at the everyone on Seppo it seems like they have like big brother watching them or something because none of them have names they just have numbers and arbitrary numbers if my uh, if my not if I yeah if I might add <laughs> can't even say that 96 20 11 10 18 I think I'm gonna choose that for my next lottery numbers and uh maybe I might it sounds really like a winner in, yeah man. in Europe I well, think well, they're from shoot, right 96 yeah. uh, I don't think any lottery goes up to 96 <laughs> if it does then you never know dude the chances of, of winning anything is getting uh, very six, very dude, small it's all good. <laughs> yeah. But, um, All right, let's get to the, the yeah. Picks let's and get bands. to the picks. <laughs> so, uh, Ezolar band, uh, very interesting. Ezolar is one of those heroes that uh, Spoonface loves to combo with, in like in the lane. It's more like Spoonface loves to pick, play these heroes where he just gets like a really uh, he likes to get, get like a farming hero or a hero that matters, not like a support or anything. And then he he puts like 15 million supports on him and be like, all right, you just give me mana, you just stay back, don't last hit, you know that kind of stuff. And Ezolar is one of those heroes I've seen. But I've seen, can uh, do it though. <laughs> I, I mean, I've I seen him do, like, Sven plus Ezelar. I've seen him do Storm plus Ezelar, Tiny plus Ezelar. Like, it, you just give mana, he just spams the spell. But, uh, not, yeah. you know, not a, despite this, uh, old, uh, old familiar face in the Dota world, 
not very often picked at all, nor banned. Yeah, they, they could know more than us, and this could be a second game or something like that. Maybe they had a jungle coddle. Oh, yeah, jungle card. Oh, man, we stalkers are going crazy on that. Yes, we try to do jungle card. It actually worked, too. And uh, Lich, this is the game before Lich got his nerf slash boost. And nerf as in his frost armor got reduced, but boost as in his frost... No, not frost. Or, or, no, dark ritual, which is actually a card in magic. Dark ritual got increased, or the cooldown decreased, thus, you know, increasing its potency. And uh, on the <laughs> yeah on the black side we got Windrunner, Urshaker, and well Shadowfiend very common, and then Witch Doctor also very common, and then uh, Furion not a very common pick. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, do you um, think they're trying to combo think, or do you just want to like, game? Uh, I strat? think the the Furion pick is more of like the global strike. Like um, oh yeah, yeah so soon day. plays like a pretty oh. ridiculous. Yeah, wow, there, you, there go. you go. There's there a specter there too. Yeah. See, I think it's more of like the global presence, like uh, scaring off the blast team. Yeah, I think that that will play a big part in it with uh, some big wombo combos. Yeah, and then, well, if they really wanted a global strat, I would get like, I want to, I want to pick Coddle and I want to pick Wisp. Well, well, yeah, no, I don't think you can pick Wisp in this uh, CM. I don't think he even pick it in the six point seventy. Huh. But yeah. No, six point seven. He's thrown in Wisp is. Oh, Wisp, Wisp is thrown in. And uh, oh, wow. that so, that Noel guy. Eladar, but they're so ignored. Yeah. I feel kind of sad for them. It's like they made their big debut in the, as a new hero in Dota, yet no one picks them. Which is oh, you know what I just thought of? Have what? you ever when Wisp first came out? Had, did you ever try like Wisp and Ursa combo? Uh, everyone says that, but I think a um, better synergy is Wisp plus uh, uh, Spirit Breaker because when you give him, he gives yeah. attack speed that means he can bash more, and then you give him movement speed which makes gives him even more damage. But then he can't be KP, yeah. so... But, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of co wobble combos with Wisp. Especially when, like, when Dark Seer first came out. Oh, my God, like, you could combo him with anyone. It's like Dark Seer yeah. plus Hecate's, Dark Seer plus Axe, Dark Seer plus, uh, what else, Kunkka. Well, that's pretty hard, but... Anyways. And, uh, Blast seems to be the... The French team is kind of going a bit of a standard picks with Necrolite uh, being the fourth pick. And I wonder if Seppo is actually going to pick Zeus. And go for like that'd be pretty sweet. Oh, Invoker. I haven't seen a Zeus. Oh, Invoker instead of the Lightning, you get the ninety-five other elements that Invoker can cast. So see, this is, it's weird because I think that uh, Blast might have even picked Invoker if they hadn't, if Seppo hadn't picked it up because of their other game. Oh yeah, where well, he was I mean, just casting like eight eight spells a team fight. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, some people might kind of hate me for this, but I created a custom Invoker script with using auto hotkeys so now i just press one button to press it one one button yeah. per spell so like i want to i want to press i want to invoke something i oh, know not see not not just invoke i can invoke and cast it so like i want to cast uh wind walk not wind walk ghost walk i just qqw hit, no see what you that's, that's what you have to do and then invoke it and then press the hotkey for it. i just press space bar <laughs> and it it automatically not only does it lets me ghost walk but right before it ghost walk, it sets all. It sets me. It gives me three wex, so that I can run really fast. So I, I just press space bar and then laugh at people's faces, and then put it on my I'm calling hacks. And be like, yeah, I'm look at look hacks. at my APM, man. Like, APM yeah. faster What's than APM? the computer can handle. <laughs> well, Crystal Watch made a master. Watch me dust you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, st I still get on. Like, I have to, I have to pub and like. So yeah, if if you guys see yeah. me play Invoker in a pub game, uh, please be gentle with me because I'm just testing out some hacks. So. And, uh, I have some FPS leg, but oh, I gotta okay. say, uh, the best way to play Crystal Maiden, definitely uh, carry CM. <laughs> uh, me, Sabmud, and uh, Tusky were doing that just before we did this commentary. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. I'm pretty sure I was like six and three, <laughs> playing an EM on Bnet. Well, if you pick, if you actually pick a real carry, you'll probably be like 25 and oh. So you just kind of you know giving yourself a handicap. Um, the yeah. the blast teams are super fast. Like look how fast they came out of that uh out of the fountain. Like Earthshaker, Windrunner, and CM. You know they're like running a marathon across the entire entire Sentinel Forest. Places a war for um block the camp. But let's see if they're gonna actually be a little skirmish going on in the Sentinel jungle. And in terms of the tri lane. Which which trial do you think would be better? 
in this game. See, like, honestly, I think, like, Witch Doctor is honestly one of the best, like, support heroes. Yeah. But I'm not tr I'm not too sure how the uh, the Lich is going to play to it, and also having the Spectre as, seeing how he's, like, a uh, melee hero, I'm not sure how that's going to play into it either, like, uh, where is yeah. this tri -lane? I can't even find it. The tri is going to be carry. bottom. And, uh, mid no, I'm trying to find who their carry will be. <laughs> oh. And the, the thing about oh, Spectre okay, so is, uh, Windrunner. I like playing like a dual lane versus a single lane because then Spectre can level up the Desolate. A player's forces are under and I'm yeah, not 100% yeah. sure how the pros level up Spectre, but I'm assuming you, you obviously get the dagger first, and then you get the Desolate second, in my opinion. But, you know, if you're he, up against he was just nerfed lane, too, eh? Who, Spectre? Not too long ago. Uh, yeah, he got his, 6. Um, his give back or something like that. I don't know. I'm so I'm I'm usually uh, the residential observer of the Dota community. Just okay. saying. So Restocker, you better get off my observer spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the six point seventy, they changed dispersion so that it actually. I'm not sure if it changed. I think it still splits the damage evenly, but it just does a little bit more damage if you're closer to Spectre. So that could be kind of a nerf and a buff. At, uh, a nerf as in. Now I think heroes farther away would take even less damage. Like they were already taking less damage because of the the way the um the damage was split. But uh, now nice like last hit there by Lich. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Oh, I'm surprised uh, he didn't dark ritual the the range creep. You know that's one of the that's one of the imba spells. And, uh, oh, and here's a block on the specter. Nice block. Oh, Specter's completely. Block. Blocked out, and he's a nice shackle shot. I think we'll be able to finish this There's off. There's some YYF shackles right there. Oh no, he just goes through the tree, which I didn't even know was what? possible. Oh man, yeah, you just eat out that one tree, and uh, okay. that's all that it needs. Yeah, but in what? <laughs> Earthshaker, oh. Earthshaker is like, nah, oh, dude, I'm not gonna let you salve up. Frustration, really. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, if you did block him off, you could just you could just cast the, uh, the dagger and then just like you know walk through trees and call wall hacks. But, uh, can you walk through Fissure? I'm not even sure. Uh, I, I know you can walk up some like ridiculous things by like just clicking a little bit in front of your hero. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if they changed that. I haven't played Spectre in forever. But uh, like you could he... like walk through trees and stuff like that, and it was just ridiculous. And yeah. I'm like, wow, like Spectre's walk, like walking walk through and statues stuff. and trees. And, <laughs> like, <laughs> and do you was... remember back when like Invoker first came out? Uh, the very bottom, uh, there was like that island kind of thing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like my buddy uh, Kill the Machines, Chris. He used to always just invoke or over or uh, go over there, and then stifling dagger or not stifling dagger. Oh man, uh, he wrong, would uh, wrong hero there. Just da <laughs> yeah, he would just dagger back and then just like chop people down. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh man. So it looks like he Actually, leveled uh, dispersion. Oh, he leveled dispersion. Okay, so I guess it's yeah, kind of like um, kind of a little bit def de defensive, I guess, in a way. And uh, let's talk about the mid and uh, top lane. Mid lane, we have Invoker soloing mid against you know Shadow Fiend, and Shadow Fiend's at six and two. Invoker's at eight and two, so Invo Invoker's winning. And I actually in a in an end house earlier, I played against Tokidor's Invoker who did a Lacrity build, and like when he was level four or level five, he had like plus one hundred damage, and he was attacking three times as fast as I was, and I was puck. And this it was no way I could last hit. He like he was getting every single last hit, every single deny. It was just ridiculous, like how much damage he had. And I could I couldn't even get near him. As soon as I got near him, I got hit by like three uh three hits from the from the Lacrity Invoker and it'll it'll take me down to like twenty percent HP. So yeah. but he's not doing that. I'm not actually sure what spell he's going for. He's going it seems like he's going for Exhort and I don't know what the second maybe Quas. So maybe going for like See, I think spirit. that has to play into uh their global quote unquote strat. You know what I mean? Like, oh, with the sun, so you can sun have strike. the sun strike. Nice yeah, it's like I mean, like, if you want to go for some crazy like combo, like Furion TPs in and uh, trees oh man, someone. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's <laughs> Furion TPs in, sprouts, and then you just sunfire right underneath it, and you can't miss unless you know they eat a tree or something. But yeah, and then uh, uh, which Spectre's right there just to smack them. Oh, oh, nice, nice defensive uh, Fisher block. Oh, but Furion knows what's up. He. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, there you, you go. go. There you go. I called that. Nice. I called it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Fear's I hack. I hack. Probably gonna have to. Uh, I'm just saying, I haven't seen this game before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fear's probably gonna have to buy a uh, TP scroll and a TP back top because Necrolite's gonna get free from it. You don't really want. And he actually leveled up Sadis. 
because I can see the little mana uh, animation on his hero whenever, whenever he gets the last hit or a deny. And uh, okay. And actually, Fearin's like, nah, screw TP scroll. That's for noobs. I'm just gonna hang around until my uh, teleport cooldown is off. And yeah, I just wanted to say is um, before when uh, Fearin got that kill there, it looked like uh, Crystal Maiden was trying to maybe cast Nova or something like that on Furion and like cancelled it or something. I'm not sure if you noticed that. Oh no I did not. I just noticed little things like that from observing. And this Earthshaker is <laughs> well, having some excellent on, fissures. Uh, but uh, that's not This is some luminous block. fissures right here. Oh! Oh what a what a bad uh, power shot there but hit nothing but trees. But at least it destroyed them. Yeah. That was his plan. That was so that <laughs> they couldn't eat the trees there, you know? Yeah, there was like five minutes. I mean, he's got a crawling respawn. blade that we didn't even notice. Yeah, the trees respawn, and he's like, oh, no, you're not trees. I want to despawn you and kill, kill a bunch. Probably, so, uh, what do you think about Spectre having a crawling blade? No, that's pretty standard. Like, most, most melee heroes, uh, farming heroes, get get, uh, get crawling blade. You know, like Juggernaut and stuff like that. Give them a core attack animation. And, uh, <laughs> that's all they want. They just want no, you know, you know what's really funny is one time we were in a pub and then we lane Juggernaut and Axe, like you know, kind of like a like a brother brother lane, and yeah. we both got Quelling Blade and we're both jumping up and down. <laughs> one time we attacked, <laughs> so it's like the funniest looking thing jazz. ever. Yeah, so if you, you people don't know that, so if you actually get Quelling Blade on Axe, he jumps up like Juggernaut, and like it, it looks like he's doing he's casting his ulti on every creep, you know. Like calling blade, pretty, bam, yeah, yeah. like die. Every creep is under 600 HP. I'll kill you all. That kind of stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> and in the meantime, we'll both be spinning. <laughs> well, that's if they're on the other team. But uh, oh well, yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing is like uh, if if they're on opposite teams, then if Juggernaut spins on Axe, then there's a chance that Axe spins back. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a dumb, it's kind of a uh, stupid looking animation. Uh, and uh, since you're our dual guest commentator, an honor commentator, can you do the creep stat for us? No problem. Uh, I just wanted to pay attention. Oh, and just attention and I'm to gonna have to interrupt you the, here. The and tunnel. there's an engagement on the Sunstrike, nicely placed. He didn't even have to wait for the Sprout, and the Sprout goes in on the Earthshake instead. But he's just gonna eat a tree out, and he's gonna be okay. But yeah, that Sunstrike actually, um, he actually knew. He could kind of tell that Fiorino wasn't gonna get there on time. So he casted a stun strike behind the enemy, knowing that he wasn't gonna get sprouted in time, and it it hit perfectly. So okay, so that's some great that. communication. Yeah, but um, another thing is with uh, dagger, he can also walk through the sprout, so I, that might play into it a little bit too. Oh, like that's, later that's into team fights. Yeah. Um. So we have Invoker sitting at thirty and five. Um. Spectre at eighteen and one. Witch Doctor nine and ten. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Shadow like Fiend, a... 44 and 7, so he's now winning the middle lane. Oh wow, 44, yeah. Um, and then we have, uh, Necro up top, going 42 and 11, versus, well, I guess, uh, Furin hasn't really been there the whole time, but he's only 12 and 5, so he's pretty much getting dominated. Well, I mean, he's been, he's been participating in the ganks twice, and in middle lane, there's a witch dot that goes by, and a, uh, I think that's the first fail Sunstrike I've seen today but you know with the cask erratic or sort of a random bounces you, you, he wasn't quite sure where where shadow Fiend was gonna stop and get paralyzed but uh oh i just noticed this ward 2a eh, where shadow Fiend's standing uh -huh. is uh that's a very offensive ward by them oh yeah that, How ward, is that ward yeah the, that was just placed yeah the reason you placed that ward is because let me go on the sepo side is because you can see the rune and you can see on top of the hill and you can also place that war okay. on the opposite side, like on, uh, oh, I missed the kill. Uh, Seppo, who was that? Nine. Oh, jeez, I don't know That's who that down. is. That's <laughs> down. That yeah, it must be in the tri lane. And, uh, no, wait. Oh, Seppo, yeah, that was nine. lit. Seppo, lit. yeah, it's a lich, okay. 96, actually. Okay, I don't know how he died there. But yeah, so that's that that war sees the sees the it, it's really good for like mid lane, especially like if you're a tanker or something, and you need to see up the hill to laser or rocket or whatnot. And you know, with Shadow Fiend, it, it's nice because you can raise uphill. Oh, I don't know if you noticed, um, Prophet only has level two sprout. That's I think that's interesting. Oh, he's actually, going for more of the teleport thing. Actually, I play. Or I, yeah, he's level eight. Yeah, I, I actually play Furion. Uh, well, I like playing Furion, and they haven't really changed much about Furion except for like. Have you noticed, like, they removed the is ability to let you sprout on the ground? 
Uh, but other than that, like the stat wise, everything's the same. And the thing about Sprout is that they gave him a new character too, or a new model. Oh right, yeah. The, uh, in six seven. The very flamboyant. His sexy little cape. Yeah, uh, it's more of a dress. And mid lane we have. It's Lich. a cape. <laughs> oh, and there's a Sprout, and where is the Sunstrike? Nice. That's what I'm talking about. It so looks uh, like the uh, oh no, never mind. Oh, I was gonna say like My the. Bad. The, f well, the thing about Fearing is his level one sprout already does three seconds of um of this is that what quote it is? disable it's not really disable <coughs> you know and if you think and if you level it up you only get I think you can only get like 0.5 second more every every level but not something um insignificant with to where at level four you get like five or five seconds or something and but the mana cost is just not worth it it's kind of like l leveling up lightning remnant uh if you're if you're storm. Like it doesn't do yeah, yeah. it does it costs more mana, but it's not worth the mana it's not worth the mana per damage. Or the damage per mana. You know what? Honestly, I'm just a big pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you I just... learn new things every commentary. Well I mean Man, those uh those forge spirits hurt. Yeah. Shaking's down at half HP. Look at his armor, man. Four minus nine point six. Like, every more damage every more attack just amplifies the previous attack. So yeah, yes, Shaker uh, tries to fish her in there. We missed a kill on bot again. Awesome. You know, with pro commentators, don't worry, we got this. Yeah. So, and we actually getting. Paid. Oh, Windrunner actually died there. Windrunner? How did Windrunner? How would Windrunner die? Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's why I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe she kind of activated a windwalk at a kind of a bad time. You know, like when you're trying to surge yourself and. And then they stun you, and you're like, oh shit, and then the surge, and then <laughs> by the time stun wears off, surge wears off too. So. Yeah, and then you feel like an idiot. And, and then you're just oh, like, this, you know, screw this, I'm just gonna observe her. The Seppo oh, number 20. Misses the, oh, uh. What did he teleport fissure. to? He nice teleported to top, and but he's just gonna die yeah, to the. Yeah, killed Shadowfiend. Uh, to the Necrolite. Or did he? And Shadowfiend Shadow died Shadow also. Shadowfiend died? Was, okay, well, that, well, yeah. that was impossible to catch at both, but at least I caught the cool one, which is that, uh. Which is that, um. In a des in an act of desperation, he clicked on his, uh, the the specter clicked on his ulti and then teleported to top. But then like Necrolite's like just it's like huh, I I Hello, where you at? Face. Here's my yeah. ulti. <laughs> yeah, yo, here's my you ulti me, I ulti you. <laughs> and then uh yeah, and then just yeah. Killed him. it was actually just pure purely by luck that I caught the shadow feed thing. I oh, actually what had uh, I actually had. Uh, my mouse on the shadow feed, and I just see his armor going down, so I clicked on his picture, yeah. and I just saw it. It was I just saw like the last part of it. It was just invoker attacks. Was it? Did he put like, a cold snap on? Because that's a that's a traditional combo. Is uh, is a force. Um, I didn't I didn't catch that. I just literally saw it at 24 HP, so I clicked, <laughs> and I just saw the last hit. Oh, the ulti going down on bot. Windrunner goes down again. Once again. Yeah, Windrunner went down to uh, Sprite and uh, Chain Frost. Oh okay. Oh okay. Well, yeah, I guess so. If you have a sprout and you don't have a tango to eat out or something, then yeah, you're kind of pretty much stuck. And, uh, I think Windrunner needs a quelling blade. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got a quelling blade like that on a on a range hero because I was just so sick of tower getting sprouted, and it's actually not that bad. But you know, tango is far more cost efficient. And it still takes up an inventory slot, and we have some little. Uh, lane tr swapping with Spectre going against. Oh, he already finished his van uh, her, uh, her vanguard, so that's good. Uh, against a Necrolite who's playing really passive, and he finished his mech. And what are the other item builds going on? The Invoker has a point booster for who knows what. Maybe a sheep. The Invoker has an ultimate orb. Oh uh, yeah, right. I meant to say ultimate orb. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, it still goes into sheep. You know, like. I still know what I'm talking about, don't worry. I'm not just a pub. <laughs> and it's Fury and TPN <laughs> trying to backstab from the... Shape. <laughs> yeah. And Fury and decided not to cancel. Well, that's kind of annoying that every time he TPs, I just going to get an indicator. Because I can't tell if it's real or not. Even in the replays. Man. I remember playing, when we were playing LOD. Uh, I don't remember who it was. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to get crucified for not remembering this. But someone on the other team had uh, Magnus. Uh, there was Magnus and Pac in the same lane. One of them had Quill Spray, and one of them had Furion's TP. So every time he cast a Quill Spray, they would stand next to each other, and he would cast TP. So you didn't know which one had which. Oh, that was the most annoying thing of life. <laughs> so many communication, but I don't think it's that worth it. And Lich getting Shackle Shot and Fissure. Not not very good chain stun, but uh, he's he's separated. But are they gonna tower dive? No. 
Uh, which doctor needs to watch out and expect the old keys? Chris could go to Chris Maiden goes down. Oh, and that that uh wrath of wrath of nature is doing a lot of damage. And here's a sun strike. Oh, sun doesn't strike? finish him. Off. Oh, YYF shackle shot gets three people in a row somehow. Not nah, that was just a fissure, but. And, I think uh, YYF should take notes from uh, 769 over here. <laughs> Did you see that? It, it looked like he shackle shot it, but since Lich got fissure right behind it, it looked like he shackle shot at three people in a row. It was like some yeah. hacks, uh, sniper. Like, you know, like when you, when you kill someone with a sniper in Halo, sometimes it goes through like four people. And they're like, oh. Sorry, what was that? Oh, I said like, you know, it's in. I seen this in some of the some of the um, frag videos, but oh like, the Halo montage. Okay, so yeah, sorry. yeah. Like when you, I when you, you, when I you, you were saying someone. like sniper skill Halo. I was like, <laughs> no, what, no, no. what are you, you talking about? You don't you don't talk about like when you snipe someone, it goes um, through like three or four heroes. The towers going down. Yeah, mid tower. Two tower. And Seppo denies the bot, oh, bot the towers denied. getting destroyed. And Nikolai's just AFK farm. Look how far, look how far up he is in the Sentinel territory. But nothing. I don't know why Fury doesn't just TP behind him and. Sprout him. He is, well, he has his Mystic Staff and his mech, and he's 13. So, I mean, thinking about it, he's he's actually oh pretty my God. strong at this point. 98 CS in 15 minutes. That is some ZSMJ stuff right there. No, man, that's how I farm. Except yeah. it would probably be like 9.8. But <laughs> this is just a, the decimal placement, you know? You yeah, put a decimal place because, you know, you almost got that HP, but the, the other creep got it instead. So, it just give you that point eight. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't round up. Sorry, going back. Yeah, going back. <laughs> it's 10 CS, 15 minutes. Come on, that's pretty good. <laughs> Did I mention I played carry? <laughs> oh, a Lich going Rambo, target acquire. And he just uh, destroyed a CM. CM unlucky bounces, but you know, CM also uh, a magnet to those uh, Chain Frosts just because she needs to die a lot in the game to call herself a support. I think it's Pusher whenever he plays a hero. Somehow he like convinces Ice Frog to just kind of put a target for anything that the other team wants. <laughs> yeah, like the magic missile becomes all of a sudden like a homing yeah. missile, and it just like targets Pusher. And oh, if, <laughs> oh, it's a haste rune and and Shaofin oh. ulties, and he takes a sunstrike in the face. Oh, fell fell raised there, hits nothing but the water, and uh, oh, very nice, very nice map in it winners by the Furion. And his fear is like all over the map. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have say like you know 98 CS or anything, but at least he's helping the team and gank everything. And the that score is, is 10 to 2, and it's definitely showing off in the scoreboard. But this Necrolite, which is now jungly, he he, you know, I don't know. When he finally decides to come out of the jungle and decide to participate in a 5v5, it might actually turn the tide of the battle around. And they might the stand I gotta say, team. I like Necrolite's name. Hundred uh, kills per minute, not kilometers per minute. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 100 it's, kills uh, per minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's... Well, I was reading some of the commentaries on uh, when Lumi did uh, Blast versus DTS. Yeah. And um, there were, people were saying that it's not 100 kilometers per minute, it's 100 kills per minute. And so I'm not sure which one is right, but I'm just saying like that's a lot cooler. Okay, so... And if you saw up top... Um, Necrolite or uh, Spectres was bashing on Necrolite for a bit. Necrolite basically just popped his mech, and Spectres like, "Oh man, what do I do now? I just took like four minutes of hard stop resort, and you have full HP. <laughs> Let's just run." Sorry, you were saying? Uh, I think I lost my train of thought, but I was—I think I was going to ask you a little bit about Inspector Ulti's for no reason, maybe. Oh no, he's going mid, and there's another Sunstrike, and this uh, this Shadow Fiend in desperation is just casting all three raises, just so you know. Use use up his mana, and Hope fortunately, Seppo Eleven, who is don't even know who that is. That's a witch doctor. Unfo okay, so unfortunately that he got the kill. And bottom lane right here, Necrolite going for the Shivas. Okay, don't think they needed. I think they they should have had the. I mean, Shiva seems to be kind of the game uh, item that you want to get later in the game when attack speed does matter on the opponent. But right now, it's like I mean, Spectre's not gonna be attacking that fast. Yeah. So. I don't, I'm not too sure. I think that honestly, um, the sheep stick would have been a better idea because, um, like, like at this point in the game, it's it's better to like isolate a hero so that you can target down one hero. Like, say they were to isolate the prophet, oh, wow. so he can't cast his sprout to uh, trap a hero. I'm talking over kills. It's ridiculous. No, I got I got it like, on camera. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't know. It's all Got good. It live. Um, oh, and then like, and then take out the witch doctor, which is gonna happen. Don't make me a liar. Come on, YYF shackle. It's a power, power shot. Power oh, you shot. can't power shot through creeps. Of course, that's gonna do no damage, and it didn't even hit anyways. This, this, this is definitely not 
Uh, YYF should definitely be taking notes on how not to play a Windrunner right here. Yeah. But uh, we should make it DCDH11. How not to play Windrunner? Because <laughs> we already have ideas for like three other DCDHs. Yeah. That's Um, this this is an ongoing jokes on how like I le I get I learn new things. You know, you, you just say like you learn new things about Sprout and all that. But I get to, I learn about like, things that I should have known about, such as uh, I think the most infamous one is how souls uh, denying on Shadowfin gives you souls. And another another one of the things I learned recently was that. <laughs> You can shackle shot is actually channeling. I'm uh, not shackle shot. Power shot is actually channeling. Like I didn't know that. So you can actually stop your power shot and it'll do less damage, which sort of makes sense because you know she kind of powers up for you know a t an attack. But uh, really, yeah, I didn't know that because one time I was I was I think I was trying to kill someone with a power shot and by mistake or maybe because I was uh, hesitating, I accidentally clicked on the ground and it stopped the power shot and it did like no damage. And I was wondering why the wow. hell my power shot did not do the full damage because I hit I hit him and you know, I hit the fleeing hero and no one else and it still didn't kill him. So I was, and then someone told me politely, uh, pointing out my errors. But, uh, was it Trey's? Uh, I don't think Trey's would ever be polite nor point out my errors. He would just laugh at me. <laughs> so he would point out your errors, but he would probably die in the process, then call you an idiot and mute you. <laughs> that's that's the, that's the stage that me and Trey's are at right now. Uh, I think. Being muted by Trace is actually an honor. We, at least he acknowledges you that you're muted. <laughs> so nice. I never really thought of it that way. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I feel so much better about myself. And this is a uh, shadow fiend is gonna get right click to death. Oh, okay, so he actually got his ulti off and uh, gets a kill on the invoker because thanks to his ulti and Lich's uh, chain frost is bouncing like crazy and uh, see, Crystal Maiden dies and the rest of the team are gonna on the scourge is just gonna try to teleport out. This oh. Earthshaker oh, nice got really shot. lucky that those actually a uh, shackle shot from the Windrunner because otherwise I think Earthshaker, not Earthshaker, I think otherwise uh, Witch Doctor would have casted a uh, cast. It cask. Nice. <laughs> Earthshaker having no farm whatsoever, 8 and 3, I have no clue if he's ever going to get his blink now. Man, this yeah, let's seem give like you a quick little uh, creep check here. Okay, go for it. Um, we got Invoker at 98 and 7. Uh, Spectre 84 and 6. Uh, if you're on 50 and 7, so I guess that's pretty User good. Joined your channel. Um, we have 129 and 15 on Shadow Fiend, but we also have 0 and 5, so. Yeah. It is, his farm is kind of showing for it. Wraith Band, Bottle, Treads, and uh, BKB, though. That's pretty good. Yeah. For 22 User minutes, I guess, not channel. really. But actually, um, that, that last battle, uh, he BKB. But he, he didn't BKB before, the cold snap was already on him, and Invoker just like yeah. hit him three more times while he was BKB trying to cast his, uh, cast his ulti, and he took so much damage, and uh, if he actually casted his BKB way early, might have, that, that, that last battle might have turned out way differently. Yeah. Um, and then we have Necrolite, who's just at 122, just farming up like nothing. And he's got a point bo or a vital booster. I'm not sure what that would be for. What are you thinking? Vitality booster? I mean, a really late Vanguard, which I don't, if now that you have the Shiva Guards, like, why do you need any more survivability than that? Maybe just for the extra boost of HP, but. That I'm seems totally random. Though. And uh, he's actually gonna stalk this, or maybe not. He's gonna pretend he like just he's stalking. the creeps. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I understand what the Shiva's for. It's to clear creep waves. Makes total sense. Oh yeah, but why? And for the I, mana. I mean, if you just last hit, just if you just hit every creep once or maybe twice, and then just death pulse, or you know, just just wait around death pulse twice, you still clear the entire wave. Because he's lazy like I am. Oh so my God, the shadow of... Oh, and he's actually might the... get. Oh, nice. He actually does go. He's gonna go for the double kill. No, but the curse finally gets. Oh, he, oh wow, he did get the. He did get the. Uh, oh, another the wind runner was here, and uh, Furion uh, blinks in. Oh, it teleports into uh, Shackle Shot. Or oh, then there's the OT and what? It didn't cancel the TP. Oh, no. It's supposed to. Like the first hit of Chain Frost is a mini stun. I, that, I think that. Is it? Oh. Yeah, I think he. I think that means that uh, Lich actually casted the Chain Frost on a creep first. That's, that's weird. That that must suck, man. I bet I bet uh I bet they're yelling at him right now in French or whatever or whatever country he's from. Cause that was supposed to be a kill. 
cast a chain frost on the hero and it mini stuns on the first hit. Uh, it's kind of like, it's actually the uh, other spells sort that bounces around, such as, well, I mean, cast of course stuns, but uh, I think Omni Slash also does a mini stun on the first on the first target. But don't quote me on that. Yeah. Oh, you and do Omni Slash know? also crits. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. It, because before you have you ever seen those videos where like you would Omni Slash like right at the second as they're finishing the TP and it would TP you back to base and stuff like that, <laughs> and then he would get destroyed. Oh yeah. And, uh, I know. I just find those videos funny. But yeah. um. I don't remember what I was going to say. Um, oh, uh, if you noticed, uh, Earthshaker tried to block Invoker from coming in, but failed miserably. And then Shadow Fiend misses a uh, deny up top. Oh, and uh, Windrunner was actually gonna, was actually going to try to kill this uh, this Invoker, but then like r the Wrath of Nature hit her at the very last second, and she's like, oh, never mind, I'm going to go back now. <laughs> so... Uh, what is, what, I actually want to pay attention. What? What? To she has a pipe. The sphere and keeps TPing. Where the hell is he? I think he just wants to clutter up the mini map. Doesn't really have a purpose, you know. Trying to get his APM, APM kind of like hops. Cause <laughs> everyone, yeah. I usually, I usually oh. end up having the highest APM. But uh, oh, and here's <laughs> Necrolite. One and comes one back with a uh, on this uh, on the Spectre, but he can't really kill. So, but he did it did, it did a good decent amount of damage. And these treants are kind of late, but I guess annoying. They, yeah. <laughs> oh, and also when um, I play Furion, I level well. It's the, the, the way I usually play him is that I kind of go for like the carry build or the get go for the you know a lot of item, the fast item ownish build. And in that case, I love I keep Sprout at level one, max out my teleportation, and then get a bunch of stats, and then max out my Sprout. But I never I never get the treants until I'm like level twenty. Two or twenty-three. When I so to get you're saying that he got late treants at level fifteen. Well, but, but... yes, yeah, so, I mean, when you think about it, like treant is a pushing skill. If you get it, if yeah. you don't get it within the first eleven levels, why get it at all? I was just gonna say that. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you could get one just to scout with a scout, just kind of scout around. I mean, it never ha never hurts to have like map vision. Instead of using it to farm, you can kind of use it, put it in the jungle to see when you're about to get ganked. Yeah, I was just gonna say is. uh Treants don't really play into the strategy that they're going for right now. And if you check out bot, uh, Necro's getting kind of ganked, but uh, just kind of TP's out. Yeah, they can't do anything about it. For doing a lot but, of um, damage, and uh, how much gold is Spectre yeah. sitting at? I mean, she has 110 creep deals, so where's her radiance? Should be coming out soon. And just uh, as I say that, she gets her relic, so never mind. Spectre's sitting at 211 in gold, so yeah, just got her relic. Um, what else? We have uh, Windrunner sitting at 2k, 2,000 gold. Um, nothing else really exciting. Uh, oh, Invoker think, sitting at 1,500. I think something funny happened at top because even the referee kind of elbowed out. <laughs> and uh, Invoker died and casted a casted. I saw I saw remnants of a of an ice wall. And I have to say something about the Invoker plate is that despite having some awesome. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Okay. Uh, put in here by put a tango slash calling blade the fury on Sinil Kanto. So he's saying uh, the ref here is saying that uh, man slang in French. I don't know this. His <laughs> <laughs> bit rough translation basically is uh, he's saying that he should buy a, either a four staff tangos or a quelling blade so uh, to just neutralize fury on. Well, who should the. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they the really Shadow specified. Maybe? I'll, I'll double Shadow check. Is the one that's been dying like 24/7 throughout this game because of the sprout. Yeah, it didn't really say. They didn't say. They just said uh, that someone should, unless I missed that, and then I'll look like an idiot. <laughs> well, it's at least... Oh, he's saying that everyone should get tangos and calling blade. Oh yeah. This is the most interesting thing going on right now. Is the rapid translation. <laughs> Showing off some uh, other other part of your pro skill, including your voice, of course. So, My, the sexy voice. Yeah, actually, uh, I have to I have to be a little honest and make a confession. The sexiest voice title probably goes to Harrison. So, the webmaster. Oh, I have to agree. Have I you heard this voice? I have to agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, go listen to yeah, go listen to like the uh, the point choke point jungle. Man, once you oh, and here's a chain frost bouncing off Rosh, but Rosh is like, I don't care because I'm magic me anyways. And there's, oh, 
there's a good two double raises killing off the uh, the lich and uh, oh but this specter has desolate and, and oh she is, fails to kill the the uh, the shadow fight before he teepers away but this necrolite with the, despite all his farm is might die from one more hit the radiance is not following anymore and he now he's gonna this cm needs to watch out oh a sun strike nice walking in a straight line dcd uh h number 25 never walking in a straight no, line no that's number 10 oh number 10 and oh no Fyrian no no yeah goes up ahead and it. well it's kind of nine and a half because nine is how to avoid easy arrows right and uh, number eight is how to save. <laughs> oh, and this uh, because, uh, everyone's kind of going in one by one, and but I think the shadow thing's gonna be okay with the earth shaker, force staff into echo slam into fissure and gets a double kill. Nice. But then the shadow thing paid his price, and now this earth shaker with his newly found uh, popularity of a of a double kill dies to the specter, and the specter. Got his radiance just at the right time because you know, I don't think she had it like five minutes ago before that yeah. team fight, and then she just happened to get it. No. And then, and, then, and Furion has uh, regenerated most of his HP, but still at, sitting at 25% HP. And they're gonna do some uh, Warcraft 3 surround with the treants, and this is not looking good for. Could you give me a readout on what time you're at? I think you're a little bit ahead of me. Oh, I am? Okay, well, my you know, yeah. Asian Warcraft, as Lumi likes to say, I'm at 43.15. Where are you at? Uh, 12, just give me a second, 16, 17, okay, 18, so I'll, 19, okay, 20, 19. So I'll pause 21, for a second, so you, you don't do anything, okay? Hold 23, on. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, okay, I got it, I got it. 30, I'm in 31, 32, 33, I'm just showing off my like, account, not gonna lie. Oh man, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> just making sure that you know. Um, not only I could do it in count, French too. <laughs> no, that's that's okay. I won't, I won't be able to understand you. Just just taking a note. Ian's a math major, not Asian, from what I know. Oh, just, well. Just proof. Just proof that uh, not only Asians can do math. Well, I think he has an Asian girlfriend, so we all know that, we, we all know what that means. He's really just Asian on the inside. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Does it mean he likes wafer cookies? Because I have wafer cookies. Oh, actually, no, I think Ian's girlfriend's Korean, or is it Asian? I don't know. No, 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 no she's, Asian. With, uh... she's Asian. I mean, no, I mean, she's of course Koreans are Asian, but no, she's Chinese, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, there's a little bit of comments. There's some smack talk going on. Nice TP as we having a pointless commentary and we're just missing something else that was interesting this invoker does a ghost walk is there a dust no no dust oh and server's manner she is 12 Law. and this specter is going crazy <laughs> but she decides to blink on on the crystal maiden of course the easiest kill like crystal maiden just happened to you know get that reality in from the specter and you remember my comment before about uh, Pusher playing a hero and then uh, the target on him? Well, yeah, yeah that's but happening. This isn't Pusher, but maybe I don't know. Maybe trying. To, maybe this Crystal Maiden is trying to make, make a name for himself. Trying to act. Dude, just get sexy Asha, and then you'll make a name for yourself. <laughs> that was Pusher's strat. Ah, oh, that game is was so good that it was deleted off Ghost and Gamer because no one will ever ha should have the honor to watch that game as a replay ever again. I watched that game. Yeah, okay, well. You're not gonna be able to watch that game any longer. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure I still have it. No, I think I'm pretty sure there's a virus that just went around everyone's computer and deleted that replay. So you know, with the with is the new 1.24e uh, Blizzard patch, that was Blizzard's intention the whole whole time. <laughs> we must eliminate the evidence. <laughs> this never <laughs> happened. <laughs> Ice Frog did a petition, but this Earthshaker and this uh, Windrunner, what are they doing? Uh, Shadow Fiend's way or CM is back there. And uh, this is gonna be kind of a chaotic, hectic team fight, but uh, maybe we should actually comment on what's going on. <laughs> yeah, and Earthshaker getting a four staff, very, very smart because if you a got pipe. a blink oh, dagger, has a pipe. it will always be canceled. And I guess they're gonna they're gonna uh, give up on give up on this chase on the specter because she just that's her her dagger uh, map hack skill just too much for Scourge the Bear. And um, off the top of your head, how much does uh, four staff in total cost? Uh, nine hundred plus three hundred plus one thousand, so twenty-two thousand, twenty-two hundred. Yeah, so I mean, I'm thinking. I'm sorry, I'm thinking 
as Earthshaker, like he's not getting very good farm. Like I think he's sitting at uh, Earthshaker. Oh god, Earthshaker, see him. Earthshaker. Oh my god, see him. Takes the frost. A <laughs> chain, chain frost was so not necessarily necessary, but it's overkill, dude. Yeah, but uh, yeah, see, he's making up for the where he did where he cast it on a creep earlier. Yeah, I think I but think yeah, Earthshaker is like... only sitting at uh. 22 or 27 creep kills. I'm sorry, I totally interrupted you, but um, he's only sitting at 22, 27 creep kills. So I'm thinking maybe he uh, just wanted to just have just buy like little pieces at a time, so that eventually he could get it. Yeah, well that makes so sense. So that he didn't too, have to save up like 2200. I don't know. That's just going how I would, against, my thought uh, process would go. Definitely against. Well, I mean, going dagger on any radiance heroes usually uh, usually kind of a risky. But if you go some, if you go against say if you're going up against like say Spectre or like Silberry with Radiance, like why why would you ever get Dagger? It's always going to be canceled in a team fight. So it's all. Or if Spectre decides to go Defusal. Yeah. Oh wait, he did. And Meteor, uh, Meteor being casted on the Invoker. Okay. So I I kept getting interrupted when I trying trying to make this thought. Uh, but despite Invoker having like really good Sunstrike Sunstrike early game. I haven't really seen him cast that many spells as an invoker. And this is already he's level already level seventeen. So And just as I say that that's uh Spectre casting his ulti, going for the Crystal Maiden again, where what's with this hate? And uh Spectre decided Oh, he still gets the Crystal Maiden. What's gonna go for T P oh no, that was not his T P, that was Windrunner's T P. And Spectre dies but he has an Aegis so he's okay. And where is that Lich's ulti? Oh wait, that's right, he wasted on the Crystal Maiden. And Shadowfin trying to do as much damage Going to right click on on the witch doctor. Witch doctor, I'm not sh I'm not even sure it's gonna die or not, but uh, witch doctor doesn't die with the with the healing war and specter. Oh my god, guys, he's going crazy with the uh, he's, and with the death. Uh, he didn't even use any charges on the defusal because I believe it comes with seven charges. Yeah, he used one on the uh, the shadow fiend. I think. Oh, okay, so it comes with eight charges. Just, I think to see if it was an illusion or not, kind of thing. Oh, okay. Or he could just be totally pro and just be like, yeah, I know that's the real one, so I'm just gonna slow him. <laughs> I'm just gonna cast this defusal just to slow the image. But oh, yeah. And uh, wow, they're gonna they're, they're gonna rex this, and it's kind of unfortunate because despite that really farm necrolite, you know, if if they, if your entire team is dead, and you're the only one left, you're not gonna be able to still kill five heroes. They might not be able to kill you as yeah. fast, but you're not gonna definitely not gonna take them down. And I mean, even it, it's, like this isn't a pub either. Like you're playing against fairly organized teams, you know what I mean? So it's not like, uh, like if you, if we were having like a DC in house, like we could even figure this out. That like just take out the rest of the team, and then we take out the Necrolite afterwards. Like it's not it's not like everyone has to work together, and it's like everyone's gonna target different people. Like these guys are probably all either sitting next to each other, or they're all on vent and they're talking constantly. Yeah. Or they're all on the, you know, the Dota mean? commentary so. team speak, and we're actually, uh, we are actually are the Seppo players. Yes, I yeah. mean, I have dibs on being 96, except I would actually be 69. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually uh 20, because this is actually the build that I would go on Furia, which is get Aga first. I'm not sure if we got Aga first or Sheep first, but look at his farm. I mean, he's at 160, 174, and I bet he has more far. Okay, no, he doesn't. I was gonna say I bet he has more farm than Necrolite. And uh, actually, Shadowfin has more, even more farm than Necrolite. But the thing about once you, once you get Aga on Furion, every time you catch your ulti, it's like 20 CS right there. <laughs> so yeah, Shadowfin's also sitting at five and eight, so his uh, his CS is like literally like cut in half, even if more. Like, look at his lost gold. His gold loss is sitting at three thousand two hundred. Like, that's just ridiculous. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Like, even all those creep stats don't even play into this. And uh, I, I guess now I understand why Winrun got the the hood. It, it's just because just to counter the Lich ulti. But I haven't been. I, I'm not sure if. <laughs> Check out Spectre at the taverns. He's just scoping things out. He's like, man, I want to buy Panda. Oh wait, this isn't Warcraft three. <laughs> Wait, where is she? Oh, right here. Uh, she's yeah, she just TP'd home. I would have. I mean, defusal, and then probably the next item she's gonna go is Manta, but I would have got the Manta before the defusal. Because do you really need another slow? Like, there's enough disables on the on the Sentinel team, and if you go Manta, they increase your DPS so much, so much significant. And you know what's fun? One thing that's funny, if you're blue. As soon as you said that, she got a Reaver. Oh well, that and uh, <laughs> if you're blue. 
and you play, you play Spectre, and you get a Manta, and you split off, you can't tell which one's real. Because they all look the same. They all look really dark and blue. Really? And you're like, what What the hell? I even I can't even tell which one's real. So uh, that's you know some food for thought for some future pro Spectre players. Make sure that you're captain. Well, make sure you're not and captain. make sure that you first pick Tide. <laughs> that's the pro strat out there. Oh, man, don't be making fun of Ian. I gotta do a commentary with him I'm soon. I'm not making fun of Ian. That's a pro strat, I just said. <laughs> I somehow do not... I cannot... Uh, Hint the irony in your voice, but uh, do some do some very last. Oh, <laughs> and this uh this Necrolite trying to go for the last hit on the on the on the ward and Spectre OT. There's and, oh does the Necrolite get the right? Okay, Necrolite did get the right Spectre and what the hell did he just blink? Oh no, he didn't. And this is such a chaotic, uncoordinated team fight. I have to say, like there's two team fights going on at once. I don't know which one to watch. Oh, and the the airship is really low, and CM. Oh, nice mal uh maledic, uh getting uh, getting uh, cursing both heroes and this uh this witch doctor is going double actually trap, got a double, double kill trap. and wow what is this shadow fiend doing? He is actually owning. Never mind. And uh, very good, very very good raises. Take notes. Wow, they're actually winning. The scourge is actually winning this team fight. I don't know what happened. They just. I think. I think I'm, uh, they I'm just kind of, yeah, they kind of, they kind of focused on they didn't really focus to take down the Nevermore and the Nevermore was able to was split and uh, do enough DPS to 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 pick off the, the Sentinel support heroes and I'm not sure did you did you see Necrolite ulting an illusion or was that actually the real the real deal? Honestly, dude, there was team fights going on on either side of that rock there. I didn't know which side to look at, so I just I was like, uh. Well, you can well for, since the team fight is over, you can look at the uh, the memorial service of the two century wars. Yeah. Of thanks, all the dude. fallen he Dota heroes, who just. But how you know, did someone die way up there? Yeah. I think they're a little off on the burial spot. <laughs> so, see, that's that's that's, that's where the expensive people die right there on top of that cliff. You know what I'm talking about? Like you die up, you like, didn't even die up there, but you, of course they're gonna transport the corpse and put it on top of that cliff so that everyone can, you know, look up and be be in awe and gaze upon the expensive tombstone. I'm pretty sure there's fog up there though, so no one can really see it unless you have an observer ward. Well, mm, that too. See, it's a very privileged... maybe that's a poor people burial. They just kind of throw them up there <laughs> instead of like actually burying them and taking the time. Like the t maybe like realistically that top is actually hollow. They just kind of throw bodies and it's just kind of filled in there, you know? Yeah, maybe, and uh, I, I just realized... My mind works in weird ways. I just realized that there's actually a blinking eye on the Sentry, under the Sentry Wars. I didn't, did not ever notice that before. Wow. It's like an evil so eye of gives uh, you souls Sora. too? Well, what? <laughs> I already know that, come on, I'm a, I'm a Dota pro. Don't mess with me. TDA, <laughs> and I'm just messing with you, you told me that earlier, I laughed so hard. Yeah. This is actually turning into a ridiculously long game. I have basketball in like seven hours. <laughs> you can no, talk about eight. what you learn in Dota and uh, to your fellow, uh, yeah. you know, b-ball mates. mates. Be like, My did balls. you know deny gives you soul? And they'll be like, what? The, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you even talking about? Denying what? Denying Dude, uh, uh, goals. He's on fire. Denying dunks. <laughs> Nevermore is on fire. <laughs> and, uh, wow, so this... I don't know. It's 29 to 15. Scourge is losing, There's obviously. And I mean, they got their middle racks down, but that last team fight, they have some shimmer of hope. And they just, if they keep doing that, you know, 10 more times in a row, they're going to get the Sentinels going to get racks. So we'll, we never know what's going to happen. And um, I think this Roshan will decide it. I'm not sure if they're actually going to go for it or if they're all just going to kind of chill around it. But I'm pretty sure that'll be the deciding factor of this. Yeah. Oh. Um, just just kind of based on like um, what's the um, it's just just based on uh, like how like one sided this was, and then it went back to being even. Uh, I feel that if the Sentinel like wipes here, that the Scourge has the power to just push this so quickly with the sh with the early Shivas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, like like most other games, uh, most other people who play long games, we all know that around this time, it's so dangerous to be in a team fight. Like it's so risky, unless you're just completely pub stomping dominating. But right now, 
uh, Scorch has just realized that um, that they actually do have a chance. So they actually go are going to play the next team fight very carefully. And whoever makes a mistake and gets team wiped, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it's GG for them. And up to this very last moment. Oh, this is some French. Trans translate. Go, go, go. Okay, well, basically, if they're speaking like French and English mixed together. I was kind of chuckling to myself without pushing down my push to talk button. Yeah. And he's saying that, like, Seppo has. Seppo support players have stuff. But the way that they said it is, like. I, I don't know. It was more of a French joke. It wouldn't make sense. Like, if I translated it, you'd be like, they have stuff. But, like, the way that they said it is, like, they said half of it in French, the other half in English. Well, understandable. Um, I do that I with my uh, Chinese and Japanese and other languages I know. Yeah, that would be like speaking like, oh, jeez, I don't even know any Chinese languages. Uh, Mandarin. 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 Like the orange. Oh, well, close yeah. enough. Okay. Chinese 101. Uh, right. uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to get a bunch of Chinese hate comments. No, I just, you Lumi's know, probably going to, like, dog me out for this. Only, like, half the viewers <laughs> are Chinese, so it's okay. <laughs> they and probably uh, won't even understand me. I'll just speak French for them. Oh, if this Necolize like, yeah. gets picked off, it's going to be bad. And there's a huge meteor, but this Necolize is tanking like a beast. And he actually turns around and puts a uh, ulti on the Fury. And Fury actually goes down instead. And this Necolize is still at very low HP, trying to cast. She was in the Reaver. Oh, and I think they actually lost sight of Necolize. And Shadowfin goes down instead, but uh, this Necolite survives with 300 HP, 400 HP. But now they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna push hard and fast and strong on this bottom tower. And only the only sole survivors of this last battle are Necolite, who also needs to go back and heal. And this Windrunner can't do anything but just power shot. And well, she has a sheep too, but yeah. And no re no buyback on the Shadowfin, so I think this is it. The, the observers are pretty much just calling that. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I think a train's coming, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mute They're myself. They're calling MVP too. <laughs> MVP Fury, the Fury. Oh, Microphone there's a train. Muted. Well, while there's a train going past his house, um, what do we got going on here? Basically, the Sentinel are just gonna go stomp on them. Um, that's that's basically the excitement of this. Well, you know, some I mean, the uh, are gonna ch some very honorable fountain farming, just for you know, laws and GGs and good good sportsmanship. Some pro ice wall blockage there. It's like fine, you want to get out, then you're gonna get frozen. <laughs> this wind runner, it's so dead. Oh, there's no look at that sunstrike. Oh, okay, the sunstrike almost chaos. <laughs> oh man. A little bit of backdooring, but it's okay because they're in the base, so technically it's not backdooring at all. <laughs> yeah. Wow, my bad. <laughs> so yeah, MVP Fury, and like, oh my god, I got Scotty as well. And I should pause the game, but I'm just gonna wait to the very last moment where they, where the French call the GG. And it's Earthshaker. Oh, poor Earthshaker. He's such a, he's such a manly looking hero, but like, he gets no item and no respect. He's buff. Yeah, I mean, look how much muscle. Okay, there's a GG. So I'm gonna pause the game. But yeah, of course, as a, as a good captain, you don't GG until your actual hero dies. Then you can GG. Until then, you know you gotta you gotta you gotta stay and like try to try to annoy the other team as much as possible. But as soon as you die, you're like, okay, now we can GG as a team. Captain. All right, I got no buyback gold. We're good to go. <laughs> now we can close the current of this epic clash of the of the Dota, the defense of the ancients. But um, <coughs> sorry, there. Let me drink some water. So yeah. Kind of a, oh, if you look water. at the score, it seems like a really big stomp, you know, 36-16. But, as I, as I said, the last team, I feel like, I feel like commentating this game, I was only looking at Sentinel. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I really understand what you mean. But I mean, I feel that the, the hero score doesn't really show how the game went. Like, I mean, if, if someone were to tell me, I was throw two random teams like Nirvana China played E Home. It was thirty six sixteen, and the game went somewhat like this. I think that like the central team just totally like stomped on them, wiped them up, and it was a fast game. But I mean, we're sitting here at like my replay timer is at almost an hour. Like it's a forty seven minute game. Like that's ridiculous. Like if, I I think that's ridiculous. I don't know. I <laughs> I usually AFK half the games I observe. But sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But um. 
I don't know, but back to that is I don't feel that the 3616 shows how the game went in the sense that like uh, how f how the Necrolate and the Shadow Fiend were playing into this, and uh, but I th I think altogether Seppo just kind of outplayed them. Yeah, was like, do you think it was the out pick as well? I mean, to be honest, Blast has the standard solid picks of you know Earthshaker in is uh, initiating Shadow Fiend sort of like a. Well, I guess that's the flaw of the, the only non-standard part of Blast's picks is that they don't really have a true, a, uh, like a true hard carry. They have like two semi-carries, which is Windrunner who decided to go for the pipe. So, they didn't really go, she didn't go like Desolator or, or Orchid. And uh, Shadow Fiend went for the BKB and he, he actually was going for somewhat of a carry. Uh, trying, to, trying to finish his butterfly, but he never got a chance to because he died nine times. And... And of course, Necrolite, who also get, got a lot of farm, uh, tried to try to get real tanky, but uh, didn't really work. Especially against Desolate. I mean, if you're if <laughs> if if Sentinel kills every one of every one of uh, Scourge's hero but the Necrolite, and Necrolite's the last one to live, Desolate ignores armor, so they'll just be doing yeah. pure damage. Well, at least the Desolate. And especially seeing Desolate how Desolate portion. gives you that bonus and everything too. Right. I'm, um. This is another question I have about Spectre is I believe only the desolate portion of the damage is pure not the not her entire attack it doesn't cover her entire attack to pure I think that'll be too in but I think you're asking the wrong person <laughs> <laughs> all right well you know if I ever have if I ever if I ever start taking French and I have a question I'll come I'll come on team speak and ask you why you're playing a Dota match no problem like, go away hops no problem I'm trying to concentrate here <laughs> no no, I'll probably just be like playing RuneScape or something like that, trying to work on 99 fletching. <laughs> but um, yeah, this game, like I said, when I well when I when I say like it felt like I was only watching Seppo, it's only because Seppo was the only one who were doing interesting things. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, Blast. Well, I guess the DTS versus Blast game, Blast was the one with the Invoker and the Juggernaut and all this crazy pick. But in this game, Blast is just kind of a, the really standard, like, you know, insane computers. Or they just, they they play well and they kind of just uh, lost well. Like, didn't see, I didn't, I didn't really see anything spectacular or amazing. Like, the only, thing, the only cool thing I saw was, was the YYF, you know, triple shackle shot. Well, that's about it. And you know, Necrolite AFK farming, which is not that great to see, and we see it all the time. So yeah, I don't know. Kind of looking at like the Scourge team, I'm thinking like if if more of like a team that would have like like benefited them better is maybe instead of going the CM, maybe throwing in like a, an an Enigma or something like that. I don't know. I'm not very. I'm not a captain, but I mean, just kind of just kind of looking at it. Like I mean, you got the Earthshaker, the Nevermore. The the Necrolite, the Windrunner. I mean, they all benefit from like a black hole, and I mean, you also have players or like uh, other characters that help you set up these black holes. You know what I mean? So you can get a nice DGC uh, four-man black hole kind of thing. Actually, if you Necrolite. think about it, like the only thing that Sentinel has in terms of a reliable stun is the cast, and well, if you cold snap, if you're fast enough. So yeah, actually, going Enigma was probably wouldn't have not been a bad choice. And yeah, or I mean, even if you would have thrown, uh, just throw your hotkeys on cold snap, you know, just go crazy APM. Yep, my hotkey for cold snap is R. I just press R and then click on a hero. There you go. That's just how you play you know. Invoker, guys. That's how you cheat and get banned from any league you want to play. <laughs> what? No, what are you talking about? It's like auto hotkey is yeah. actually a program that lets me press six keys at once, and it makes me look good without them knowing it. So that's the best okay, part. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next thing you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the next invoker, hitting like casting like 50 million spells with that new, uh, with the Agus. <laughs> but Look at this guy's APM. He has a thousand APM. How's he <laughs> doing this? He just hits random buttons with his forehead. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm not sure if, if I, I, I guess it should count. It should count as an APM. Because the the Warcraft three doesn't know that it's actually a program hitting those keys. It will just think that it's actually another person hitting those keys at you know at in, uh, at faster than human reflexes. So, but uh, normally, traditionally on the Hobbs commentary show, 
I tend to talk, I tend to ramble on for like 30 minutes after the game ends and, you know, get flamed at in the comments on YouTube and people are like, what, what, the, why the hell are you talking about? Why, why don't you just stop when the game ended? But for this game, I can't really seem to talk, I don't know what to really discuss about. Like, I think the first couple of games I discussed about, uh, the rise and fall of carries with Jack and then I discussed about, with Pat Joe, I discussed about the tier system of Dota. And every game is kind of like a laugh built on. And for this game, is there anything you want to talk about in particular? About concerning Dota or, you know, anything that I don't know. I feel that with me and you doing, like, for me and you doing a commentary, I felt like for both of the game, like, yeah, we were watching the game. But it's almost like we're sitting in the let's watch a replay channel kind of thing. And we're talking about the game kind of thing. I feel there's more of a... It's, it's kind of like shooting the shit. We were just kind of like shooting the shit kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we were, we were paying attention. Yeah. So many I mean, inside jokes that I'm we missed sure a few kills. Most yeah. most of the most of the people who you know because most of the people who watch these commentaries or if they even wa do are gonna watch this commentary aren't gonna aren't like familiars at uh at the Dota commentary team speak. So they probably won't get the inside joke when we talk about Ian and Stalker and Trays and all that stuff. But uh, yeah. who cares? It was fun. We were, we were doing it, and we don't care if you watch it. But if you do watch it, you know, let us know and leave us leave us a comment. And uh, I'll I'll forward this comment to uh, Lacoste. But yeah, I guess um, I'd uh, love I'd love to hear feedback <laughs> just to uh, see how everything went. <laughs> no, who knows? Maybe Trades will even unmute him, unmute his mic, and uh, give you guys some, give him or give you some very friendly criticism. <laughs> Troll, <laughs> right? Well, that's the that's the euphemism for it. But yeah. uh, in any case, I think another reason is because I'm just kind of tired right now. Yeah, you should be too, would you? With that basketball yeah. game and all that, I don't want you like fainting. When you're trying to uh, hit some hit some best shots and get some, get your CS up. But uh, all right. So. You know nothing about sports. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, actually, you know what? I played basketball today, so. I like missed all my shots, but uh, I'm pretty good at defense. What like I, NBA 2K10 basketball? Or <laughs> nah, what? nah, nah, no, no, no. Like I, there's, there's like we have like a huge, huge gym at, at our university. It was actually for the site of the 1996 Olympics. So like our gym is ridiculously big, and uh, it's like five times the size of my aerospace building at my college. It's, it's so big. But anyways, you have like two swim, two full size Olympic swimming pools. We have like a water slide and everything. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyways. We have like six basketball nets and like twelve balls. I don't know if that's really saying anything. Six basketball nets. I'm just trying to break. Yeah, we, have, we have way more than that. We have a we have what we call the sack field, which is an artificial turf, and it's the biggest one in the oh. southeast, something like that. It's huge. It's like the size of four football stadiums. Not not Did stadium. I full, full the two of our nets. Yeah. They go up, <laughs> like not like. Not like there, like you push a button on it. It's like a control panel. Oh my god! Right? Man. Like hear me out. It's like magic. And you like <laughs> hold up the light switch, and the nets they go like forward and up, and they go into the ceiling. It's pretty ridiculous. Wait, what? The nets? I'm pretty sure you don't have that. Step that in your artificial turf. Oh yeah, well you know our artificial turf is so cool that on a dry day, if you fall on it, you scrape your you scrape so much of your knee. I'm pretty sure that artificial turf is made from like glass and like. <laughs> All these other random things it's that it's so bad to fall on it. Like I just kind of cringe right now when I think of myself falling on artificial turf. But on the on a wet day, it's actually really fun because you get to slide around. Like all right, so enough enough of this blabbering. No, no one cares about this. No one's gonna go to Georgia, Texas because Hobbs is there. So uh, okay, so the, this uh, this has been Lakais. Le Lakais. How do you say that? Lakais. Uh, Lakais. Okay. Le well, case, you know, I don't know. After, I just uh, made after it up seventy on minutes spot. of a commentary, like <laughs> I finally learned my co do my co commentator's name, so no big deal. I'll be, I'll be doing that more anyway. So Lakais mm. and Hobbs, and this has been a game of Seppo versus Blast. Uh, Seppo doing some very orthodox picks and orthodox strategy, actually pull off and pretty much stomp Blast, who also did an unorthodox strategy a couple of games ago, which Lumi casted versus DTS, and. Seppo wins with the 36 and 16, with a with a great play, very funny builds, and unfortunately we missed a couple of kills, but in the end it was all fun. And hopefully you guys aren't bored of you know bored to death listening to us talk and blabber about 
non uh, non top uh, non related things that's going on in the replay. But this has been Hobbs and the Classic. We're signing off. Bye bye.